Whales are the giants of the ocean, some growing as large as buses, dominating the marine world with their sheer size. But what if whales weren't just rulers of the sea? What if, instead of being bound by the water, they could roam the land? Imagine a creature as big as a whale walking alongside us. What kind of world would that create? The idea may seem impossible, but millions of years ago, whales' ancestors actually walked on land before evolving to live in the ocean. So what if evolution took a different path and these massive creatures had adapted to life on land instead? In this video, we're diving into that fascinating possibility. We'll explore what it would take for whales to survive on land, what kind of changes they'd need to make to their bodies, and how their presence would reshape the ecosystems and landscapes we know today. So how would these enormous creatures adapt? Could they dominate the land just like they do the ocean? Let's explore what the world might look like if whales could walk on land. To understand how whales might walk on land, we need to look back millions of years into their evolutionary history. Surprisingly, whales didn't always live in the ocean. Their ancestors were land-dwelling creatures that resembled small, deer-like mammals. One of the earliest known ancestors of modern whales was Pachycetus, a four-legged animal that roamed the land about 50 million years ago. It spent some time in water, but it primarily lived on land, hunting for food near rivers and lakes. Over millions of years, these early land mammals gradually evolved into the whales we know today. As their environment changed and they spent more time in the water, their bodies adapted. Their legs became fins, their tails grew stronger for swimming, and their nostrils moved to the tops of their heads to form blowholes. These changes allowed them to dive deeper and stay underwater longer, turning them into the perfect marine mammals. But what if this evolution had gone in a different direction? What if whales had stayed on land instead of fully adapting to the ocean? In that alternate world, we'd see whales with much stronger legs, possibly resembling the way they looked millions of years ago, but on a much larger scale. They might have evolved to survive in a completely different environment, using their enormous size to dominate the land just like they do in the ocean today. One of the biggest challenges for whales adapting to life on land would be their massive size and weight. Modern whales are built to float effortlessly in water where their buoyancy supports their enormous bodies. However, if they were to walk on land, their anatomy would need significant changes to support their weight against gravity. First, let's consider their limbs. Whales have flippers that are excellent for swimming, but unsuitable for walking. To move on land, whales would need strong, sturdy legs capable of supporting their bulk. Imagine these giants evolving thick, muscular limbs similar to those of elephants or rhinoceroses with a robust skeleton designed to bear their weight. This transformation would also require changes to their spine and joints to provide stability and flexibility for movement on solid ground. Another major challenge would be their breathing. Whales breathe through blowholes, allowing them to take in air while swimming. If they were to live on land, they might need a more traditional lung structure and a different respiratory system. They would have to adapt to a more active lifestyle, requiring better lung capacity to support movement and energy expenditure. Additionally, their skin would likely need to change. Underwater, whales have thick, smooth skin that helps reduce drag in the water. On land, however, they would need tougher, more durable skin to protect against the elements, potential predators, and injuries from rough terrain. Finally, let's think about their diet. Modern whales primarily eat small fish and krill, which they filter through baleen or catch with their powerful jaws. On land, they would need to adapt to a different diet possibly becoming herbivores or omnivores, grazing on plants or hunting smaller animals. This change would require not only a different set of teeth, but also alterations to their digestive systems to process this new food source. If whales could walk on land, their presence would have a profound impact on the environment and ecosystems around them. These enormous creatures would not only reshape the landscapes they inhabit, but also influence the balance of various ecosystems. First, consider their size. A fully grown whale could weigh as much as 200 tons, 
And just imagine the effect of such a massive creature walking through forests, grasslands, or even urban areas. As they move, they could trample vegetation, create pathways, and even change the flow of rivers by disrupting riverbanks. Their sheer weight could lead to soil compaction, affecting plant growth and water retention in the ground. Next, think about their feeding habits. If whales adapted to land, they would likely have to graze on large amounts of vegetation or hunt smaller animals. This shift in diet would mean that they could significantly alter local flora and fauna populations. They might compete with existing herbivores for food resources, disrupting the natural balance and possibly leading to declines in those populations. Additionally, the presence of these colossal land creatures could influence the behavior of other animals. Predators might target whales, or other species might adapt their behaviors to avoid these giants. The ecosystem dynamics would shift, creating new predator-prey relationships and altering migration patterns for smaller animals. Furthermore, if whales were to roam in herds, like elephants, their social behavior would create even more environmental changes. Herd movements could create large areas of disturbed land, promoting new plant growth in some areas while overgrazing others. This dynamic could lead to a more diverse ecosystem where certain plants thrive while others struggle to survive. Finally, let's consider the human impact. If whales were to live on land, they would need to undergo significant adaptations to thrive in a terrestrial environment. First and foremost, mobility would be a key factor in their survival. Over time, their flippers would evolve into strong, sturdy limbs, potentially resembling those of elephants or large herbivores. These powerful limbs would need to be muscular and flexible, enabling whales to walk, run, and navigate various terrains, from rocky mountains to flat plains. In terms of social structures, whales are known for their complex pod systems in the ocean, which facilitate communication and protection. On land, they might form similar social groups, collaborating to find food and raise their young. Their communication methods would likely evolve as well, possibly developing new vocalizations or visual signals to interact more effectively in a terrestrial setting. Finding or creating suitable habitats would be essential for terrestrial whales. They might gravitate towards forests, grasslands, or coastal areas with access to freshwater sources. Their shelters could take the form of large nests or burrows, offering protection from the elements and predators. These habitats would need to accommodate their size, likely requiring vast areas where they can roam freely. Transitioning to a land-based lifestyle would also entail a dramatic shift in diet. Whales would likely become herbivorous or omnivorous, consuming large quantities of vegetation, fruits, and possibly small animals. They would need to develop specialized teeth for grazing on tough plant material and efficient digestive systems to process this new diet. Their foraging behavior would change, necessitating long distances of roaming in search of food. Reproductive adaptations would be crucial for terrestrial whales as well. Unlike their aquatic counterparts that give birth and nurse their young in water, land-dwelling whales would need to create safe nesting sites for their calves to ensure their survival during early life stages. The young would likely need to mature more quickly, adapting to the challenges of land living sooner than those born in the ocean. Finally, despite their transition to land, whales would still require substantial amounts of water to stay hydrated and maintain their health. They might seek out rivers and lakes, or establish migratory patterns to coastal areas for occasional access to the sea. Their behavior around water sources would be critical for their survival, ensuring they remain well hydrated in their new habitat. If whales were to walk on land, the dynamics of human interaction with these magnificent creatures would become both fascinating and complex. One likely outcome would be a strong push for conservation efforts aimed at protecting land-dwelling whales. Just as we have established national parks and wildlife reserves for other large animals, we would need to create designated protected areas specifically for these whales. Such sanctuaries would help ensure that their habitats remain undisturbed, promoting biodiversity and ecological balance. The cultural significance of whales, already prominent in human history, could expand even further. Traditionally seen as symbols of strength, wisdom, and the ocean's mysteries, 
these gigantic land mammals could inspire new myths, stories, and artworks. Festivals celebrating whales might emerge, highlighting their importance in ecosystems and our lives, thus enriching local traditions and practices. The daily lives of people would also change dramatically with the presence of land-dwelling whales. Imagine encountering a whale grazing in a park. This extraordinary sight would transform our routines and how we interact with nature. Urban areas might need to adapt to accommodate these giants, leading to the creation of safe passages for whales or modifications in infrastructure to ensure coexistence. Roads and transportation systems could be redesigned, promoting eco-friendly urban planning while considering the movement of these magnificent animals. Economically, the presence of land-dwelling whales could open up new opportunities. Ecotourism might thrive as people travel from far and wide to observe these creatures in their natural habitats. Local communities could benefit from sustainable tourism initiatives that promote wildlife conservation while providing economic support to the regions where whales reside. Moreover, living alongside whales would likely enhance public awareness about marine life and environmental conservation. Educational programs in schools and communities could focus on the unique adaptations of these creatures and their roles in ecosystems, fostering a deeper connection between people and the natural world. This increased awareness might encourage more sustainable practices in our daily lives, reinforcing the importance of protecting both land and ocean habitats. However, challenges would inevitably arise alongside these benefits. Conflicts could occur, especially in agricultural areas, as farmers might struggle to protect their crops from grazing whales. Disputes over land use could emerge, necessitating solutions that promote harmony between humans and these gentle giants. Finding ways to mitigate such conflicts would be essential to maintain a peaceful coexistence in this new and intriguing scenario. As we wrap up this exploration of what it would be like if whales could walk on land, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this fascinating idea? Do you have any theories or thoughts on how whales might adapt to life on land? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more intriguing content like this. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. I'd love to engage with you and discuss your ideas.